was really pretty outside. It was, is the operative word. Look at these uh, pictures now. We've got more and more clouds coming in. Raleigh, Wake Forest, Chapel Hill, and Apex. Temperatures are in the 60s, about 67 to 68 degrees, but it's the wind. These are the actual observed sustained winds, and we've got them color-coded. If you see the yellows and greens, pretty windy, 24 miles an hour at the airport, uh, 23 in Goldsboro. And then you factor in the gusts right now, and I mentioned earlier this morning that we could have gusts up to 30 miles per hour, and presto, we got it. <laughs> Yeah, and so we could see that this afternoon. You see that line of uh, strong wind. So it's going to be a kind of a breezy, windy afternoon and a cloudier afternoon. So we can forget about the uh, rays of sunshine being a big number at all. We're going to see our next weather maker be a cold front tonight as we will see uh, that front come in. Here's one interesting thing, though, about that front. Even though we've got a good chance of showers, the amounts aren't going to be heavy, generally under a quarter of an inch of rain. And we're not looking for stormy activity. Cool temperatures are going to be with us let's just you know to start next right through the beginning of the next week but let's talk about that possible frost Sunday morning as we will have lows probably in the mid 30s 36 in Fayetteville that would break a record their records 39 it's not going to get to a record in the triangle that records 31 but if you're watching us along the Virginia border some low-lying areas down to the southwest and maybe in Siler City you could hit freezing tomorrow there's a freeze watch up already from the weather service in Virginia for Mecklenburg County Virginia Northampton County Virginia and I anticipate our weather service to follow suit shortly all right the rays of sunshine I had a three earlier three. But we switched it to a two because it just keeps getting cloudier and cloudier outside and it's as you look at things, mostly cloudy skies, 69 at 2 o'clock. Wind sustained, you know, between 10 and 20 miles per hour, but gusting to 30. And we'll see 70 degrees at 4 o'clock. Maybe an isolated shower, but we have a pretty good chance of showers, albeit light rain showers for the most part, but uh, showers through the evening hours starting at 6 o'clock. And there'll still be showers at midnight as temperatures will drop to the 50s. Those winds will shift to the northwest overnight and skies will clear out. 71 this afternoon in Raleigh, 70 in Durham. 74 in Fayetteville. So here's how it looks on the old weather map. Uh, we've got cloudy skies at 3 o'clock, and then by 6 o'clock, 5, 6 o'clock, some rain showers, more showers at 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and then the skies clear out, and this high moves in with some colder air. And it's going to be a brisk wind tomorrow, but not as windy as today. And then that high will settle over us Sunday morning, and that's why it's going to get so cold, because that cold air is going to settle right to the ground without any wind. So 71 degrees, showers late this afternoon and definitely this evening. Sunshine tomorrow, but that's a May 9th sun, and it's only going to get to 60, so you know there's some cold Canadian air coming down. 35 tomorrow night will be 68 on Mother's Day, 69 holding cool on Monday and Tuesday with mostly sunny skies. Then finally we can turn things around. I like the 60s and 70s. don't like the wind today, but if you like some 80s, I've got it for you coming your way later in the 10-day, uh, and by next weekend we'll be in the mid-80s with a chance of a storm more like May than this May will be, Felicia.